Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with today's edition of 90 Day Oy Bay. Angela, she strikes again, and this time she's warring with Danielle Gates. Shida breaks some tragic news to the fans and more cast updates. Let's hop right into this. Shida and Bilal. They announced that they will be sharing their pregnancy journey that tragically ended in a miscarriage about five months ago. And let me tell you guys, when I watched their YouTube video, when Shida was bawling her eyes out, I was crying with her. I mean, I know she wants to have a baby really, really badly. And watching her pregnancy vlog that ended so tragically in miscarriage. And then seeing this that she posted to her story the day after. My second miscarriage occurred right after I teach my yoga flexibility class. I was perfectly fine until after that class. I started to bleed nonstop. I couldn't understand how the one thing I loved the most hurt me so much. Hence why I discontinued my class. I never went back onto the yoga mat ever since. And knowing that this occurred about five months ago and knowing how much Shida wants a child and how much she loves yoga too, it just breaks my heart. I'm happy to see her having fun with her stepchildren and having a good summer, but Shida and Bilal, my thoughts are with you guys. Now, Angela versus Danielle Gates. In case you're wondering what the hell that's all about, Danielle had the nerve to go on TikTok Live with Michael. How dare she, right? And Angela, she got really pissed the fuck off. And I'm going to let Mary Pants' post explain it all. So as you can see, Mary Pants posted, Danielle has been um, posting some spicy pictures to her Instagram. And even I admit, any red-blooded man is going to like her pictures, including Michael. And hey, Michael wants to support his fellow cast member. So Michael, you know, has been liking her pictures. And then, like I said, Danielle had big nerve to go on TikTok Live with Michael. My goodness. So Angela got big mad and she posted this. Can you guys help me translate? Biatch, I sick of your and everybody kiss. I DJ you either, but your tits need fixed. You want to start this really. Hashtag queen of reality. Okay. So anyway. Like I said, she had nerve to go live with Michael and Angela has a question for us. Okay. Hey, quick question. Um, and I feel stupid for asking, but when you're stirring up some shit, do you go clockwise or counterclockwise? Okay. Now this is her response to Danielle. Hey, Danielle, since you want to sit there and want it so bad, you don't want it. Let me tell you something. I wasn't talking about you. I don't even know who you were. You're the second person that I don't know that said I said shit. I don't even know you. You're irrelevant. You're not in the level I'm in. No. Okay. So you know how she says that she's not in the level that that um, Angela's in? Well, then Danielle had a question. She said, I heard... Angela say, I am not on her level. Can someone tell me what level that is? And let me tell you, when Danielle commented on Mary Pants' post, I nearly fell off my chair and choked on my drink. I can't wait to take him to Walt Disney World. Michael, what size ears do you wear? Now, if you're wondering why um, Angela is, is pissed off at Danielle, I mean... A lot of it has to do with her going live on TikTok with Michael, but 90 Day Fiance update posted this, okay? And apparently during that live, Danielle had quite a few things to say about Angela. He's under contract. Yeah, he can't respond to anything. Yeah, I mean, I can. 
I'm sorry. But after after the season, after the tell all I know Angela that. would not have approved of this. Angela hates me. Did you know this? She went on live one night and she's like, she, when she went on her rampage about your visa and that she wasn't going to be used. She was no Chantel. She was no Danielle Gates. I'm like, bitch, don't put my name in your mouth. My husband isn't here, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, I've never met her. I've never had a conversation with her. There was no reason for her to put my name in. I'm nice to everybody. I get along with every cast member except for two because they were assholes to me. And one of those cast members is Scott. But we'll get more into that later. Relationships, we don't need drama with y'all. You know, so like for her to go out there and put my name in her mouth, because at that time I was trending because my show was airing, like, don't use me for clout, bitch. Like, you're a train wreck. That's kind of how I felt. But, you know, I heard that behind the scenes she's really nice. So like, I was, I never talk shit, but don't put my name in your mouth, you know? I'm not rude to anyone. But whatever. And Michael's just sitting back, eating the popcorn, He's like, okay. Now, someone asked Danielle, any plans on removing Johan's name from your arm? And she says, no, not for any reason other than I don't have any plans to remove it. It's really pretty. Honestly, like most things about me, it bothers everyone else more than me. Now, I thought that I was safe from Angela and Homeland Security, at least for this week, okay? Because she's pissed off at Danielle. So I thought I was safe. No, I'm not, unfortunately. And thank you to Walking on Sunshine on TikTok for sharing this with me because otherwise I would have no idea that she's threatening to show up. Let me share this with you guys. Can you translate this for me as well? Because even with the captions, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Show up uh, in a nice way. Like, you're gonna beg for my forgiveness for all the shit you said I did. Right, Adriana? Yep. Give me some bitch, you're always my favorite. Favorite color. You know. And I mean, show up uh, in a nice way. Something about a bed, forgiveness, showing up in a nice way. Angela, what the fuck? I mean, I invite you every Monday night to show up to my live, unblock me, and I'll join you on one of your TikTok lives. But I don't know. Is she going to show up on the channel? Is she going to show up at my door? Who the fuck knows anymore? So now we have another war brewing in the 90 day universe. E. Scott versus Riley. And if I was E. Scott, I would, I would think about this. And um, apparently he has, but, and let me just share the videos. Okay. So first we have Scott pissed off at Riley. Reddit, thanks for bringing out these backstabbing, two-faced pieces of shit that I thought were friends, that I thought were laughing with me instead of at me. George? No, Scott. Most, most of the 90 Day Universe is laughing at you. I'm not saying Riley was, but most of the 90 Day Universe was laughing at you. Unbelievable. And Riley acting like big brother, and then you go behind my back like a two-faced piece of shit giving advice. All of you can go fuck yourself. Fake people. The whole 90 day, they're all fucking fake. So fuck off. Backstabber. Now, this is Riley's response, okay? Because I'm not a backstabber. If I was a backstabber, I would have let your fucking mouth run, right? until you got on lists that you don't want to get on with immigration and the government. I wouldn't have gave you advice, right? Just saying, E. Scott. Just saying. Don't fuck with me, Scott. Scott, you know. And this is, I think you know. You blocked me, so I can't tell. But I can guarantee you, you deleted that video already. Because you know. Out of all the cast members that you could possibly go back and forth with, 
I am that real dude. And you know, I will fly to Florida and go in the backyard and thump with you. Scott, cut it out. What I said was my truth. It wasn't to downplay your truth. It wasn't to downplay whatever. What I said was my truth. It wasn't to downplay your truth. It wasn't to downplay whatever you're going through. It wasn't to disrespect whatever you're going through. It's my truth. You're fucking exhausting. Now look at Riley's face. I mean, if I was on the receiving end of this, I would be fucking scared. And it takes a toll on me. See, you don't even think, what is Riley? Maybe he's going through something. He's building this business. He's taking no loans. He's not doing crowdfunding. He's not asking cast members for money. He's doing everything himself, and he's stressed out. Or oh, his job situation, which you know about, he's stressed out. Or maybe, you know, he just has an opinion, and he feels that he should be able to express it, although it might upset you, but you have his number. And he can explain himself to you if he felt so. But you're a bitch, right? Because of that video, you're a bitch. Didn't think you were one before. I thought you was misunderstood, but now I think you're a bitch. I was going to lie, but I got my... And after Riley posted that, guess what? Scott backtracked. Surgery on Wednesday at 8 a.m. I got like... I got my mind on surgery. I'm having anxiety. I was hanging out with friends just enjoying my moped this weekend. But there's a lot of things that were hurtful, a lot of things that sting that were said about me tonight. I caught the podcast. I catch what it says, but hey, it is what it is. I'm hated. I buy followers. I'm a criminal. Nobody wants me. Nobody wants to hire me. I'm broke. All those things. I surrender. I'm all those things. You guys go live your life and I'm going to live mine. Okay. I'm not asking you guys for anything, but I will say to George, um, I didn't realize that you were going through those things. And um, that hit home for me because I am a patient advocate. And I can say that um, uh, when I did the Cobra Kai thing, it was I was doing a parody of the Karate Kid. It wasn't like, because I wanted to hurt you. <laughs> you, know, you had Cobra Kai on the TV screen. The thing, you know, the post on Reddit, it said, George, hey, I'm, I'm in my house where I'm not my camper, but you had Cobra Kai on there. So I was doing the Karate Kid thing. My fans, my followers, or my bot followers got the joke, but apparently you didn't get the joke. But I, I never wanted to hurt you. And, and then with Riley, he's like, hey, you don't want to go there, Scott. And I'm, I'm just giving it to him back. I'm clapping back. Um, at the end of the day. He was just clapping back, Riley. That's all he was doing. By the way, for the record, Riley does not accept this apology. Okay. In case you don't know that, Scott, sorry that you have to hear it from me. But Riley does not accept this apology because he sees through the bullshit like all of us do. Um, I can say that I think George is a great person. Um, he's a talented person. He's got a big heart. He's always entertaining with his content. And Riley is, um, or reminds me a lot of my father, military, and they're good people. So anyway, have a great night. So I find it very interesting that not only did Scott backtrack and he apologized to Riley after seeing this, I'm sure, okay? But um, he has been disgusting, offensive for many, many months to a 90-day groups, fans, Reddit, other content creators. I mean, in particular, making fun of a woman that got into a car accident, Alexa, who runs the um, Scott Snork group on Reddit. You know, he takes it upon himself to go into these groups and offend, harass, bully. But um, what I find interesting is Scott has a tendency to backtrack and apologize to men, okay? I could be wrong, but I haven't seen an apology to female cast members that he has offended. Um, him and Danielle were in a war at one point. 
I haven't heard an apology to Danielle. Haven't heard an apology to Alexa. Um, any other female content creator, um, Facebook group administrators, fans that he have he has offended, bullied, etc. In so many months, but when it comes to a man, he's quick to backtrack and apologize. I find that very interesting. Now, moving on, we have Lauren, who is still not sure if she's done with having babies. And she wants everyone to know that, yes, yeah, she is having surgery on um, the one-year anniversary of her mommy makeover. But it's only to fix scar tissue around her belly button. Why do I think she is doing the fat transfer as well? Because she wants boobs. But she claims that it's only going to be to clear up the scar tissue around her belly button. Okay. Emily, the kids. That's all I have to say. The kids are so fucking cute. I am glad that they have their home. And, you know, their family is beautiful. Thais, Al um, Alisi, look at her. I mean, she looks just like Pat adorable Liz looking like a whole snack okay she dropped a whole bunch of weight wishing happy birthday to her mom and we're going to see her new man Jason at the tell all Gino is living his best life I mean look at him he, he has like this glow about him not for nothing okay guys I mean Gino's traveling everywhere taking pictures with fans and ever since him and Jasmine have allegedly broken up, I mean, he looks like that he's, you know, dropped um, a heavy weight from his back. Just put it that way. Rob and Sophie's friend Kay, okay? Rob is living his best life. The three amigos hanging out, okay? Rob is traveling. LA, San Fran, Arizona, here, there, and everywhere. Okay, the three amigos doing their thing. And Kay just wants everyone to know. Okay? Dicks, not chicks. Now, here's some Pillow Talk cast updates. Congratulations to Annie and David. We are con going to continue to pray for Annie to have a healthy pregnancy. We have Kenny. And um, Armando, and um, I can't remember the name of the dog right now, but adorable. Mika, here we go, Mika. Veronica, poolside with Chloe. Now, here's some the other way cast. We have Corona, who says Texas kind of blows. We have Stadler, who is sick of people telling her to get therapy. Okay, um, my opinion, she needs more therapy. We have Dempsey living her best life. We have Tatia asking if we like the last episode. And Tatia, as you can see, uh, Jojo managed to make it out there because they've been posting all these pictures of them with Jojo. So I'm assuming that Jojo is out there with them. Jovi and Yara. We have some throwback pictures of Jovi. Okay, Gwen posted these pictures. And all I have to say is Jovi's face ha hasn't changed one bit. And Yara hosing in a woman's restroom. Okay, this is great art though on the wall. Myla tried raw um, octopus for the first time and she spit it out. Okay, she was like, mm, I don't think so, Ma. And before I wrap up this edition of Oive, Here's some miscellaneous updates. Cleo, unfortunately, is still receiving hate. And I don't get it. It's 2024, people. Okay? Like, please. Kelly hanging out with the boys. Samit and Jenny hanging out together. Soldier Boy, 
okay, says, I found that the first 30 minutes of my day have the biggest impact on how I feel for the rest of my waking hours. Stop worrying about the future. Allow yourself to relax and enjoy each moment as it comes. And Josh looking like a whole snack. And we have Kalani and Dallas's adorable baby and Sam and Citra's adorable baby. Darcy and Stacy promoting cameos. I mean, uh, you guys know what I'm going to say. I mean, they are morphing into, I don't know what. They don't even look like themselves anymore. It's just so. Anyway, and Georgie wants everyone to know that he has an OnlyFans. Nicole is still with the clickbait shit, okay? And Jen is showing off all of the deals in a lot less in New York, okay? I have a lot less by my house. Maybe I need to go and show you guys the deals there. Um, we have Anfisa giving us um, a view from the back and Kara going for a, um, a house showing and she wants to know if this is a house selling look, okay? And if you guys haven't already, Please check out my 90 day oy vey. Jasmine, we are not fucking stupid special. And I just want to say before I end this edition of oy vey, I'm in my let them era. Let them judge you. Let them misunderstand you. Let them find better. Let them gossip about you. Let them lose you. Let them. Thank you so much for watching me. Please subscribe if you don't already. Hit that like button and please share my video with a friend or 10. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye everyone.